Hi, this is Scott at CircuitBasics.com. In this video, I'd like to explain how to set up a temperature sensor with an analog thermistor and an Arduino. Thermistors are really great if you want to have any kind of uh, temperature sensing or temperature control in your projects. Uh, if you're doing like a weather station or some kind of like home environmental control project, uh, they're really good, really inexpensive, and very easy to set up. The thermistor I'm using in this video is a 100K ohm resistance thermistor. We're going to set up a voltage divider. So we need to have a resistor that is equal in resistance to the thermistor. So in this case, I have a 100 kilo ohm resistor. So I'm going to take the thermistor and insert it into the breadboard. Now I'm going to take my 100 kilo ohm resistor and connect one side of the resistor to one side of the thermistor. Then I'm going to take a jumper wire and connect the side of the thermistor that's not connected to the resistor and insert that into the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Now I'm going to take another jumper wire and connect the side of the resistor that's not connected to the thermistor and insert that into the ground pin of the Arduino. Now I'm going to take another jumper wire and insert that into the breadboard in the same row that the thermistor and the resistor are connected. Then I'm going to connect that to analog pin A0 on the Arduino. And that's it as far as connecting the circuit goes. So now we can upload a program. I have a blog post for this video, and I'll put the link in the description so you can go there to get the, uh, to get the code. And I go into um, a little bit more detail about how the thermistor works and what it's made of, um, how the voltage divider comes into effect here. And I have a diagram showing how to connect what we just made. But I just want to demonstrate it for now, so let's grab this. We'll copy that. And open up the Arduino IDE. Paste that in there. And click the upload button. And once that's uploaded, we can open up the serial monitor. And the temperature readings will be displayed here. So it's around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I grab the thermistor, it goes up almost immediately. So the response is really good on these. So what if you want to output the readings in Celsius? It's really easy. Find this line right here and enter two forward slashes at the beginning of the line to comment it out. This line of the code converts the temperature readings from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if we comment that out, we'll get our Celsius readings. And we want to change the, uh, the F to a C. Open up the serial monitor. And now the temperature is in Celsius. And going back to the circuit. So that's all good if you're fine with uh, just having the temperature readings output to the serial monitor. But if you want to hook up a LCD display and have them output to the LCD, I have another article. Uh, how to set up an LCD display on an Arduino. So you can go check that out. That'll show you how to connect up the LCD display to the Arduino. But I'm not really going to go in detail here about how to connect it. I actually have another video too about that, so you can check that out if you want. And we'll set up our thermistor and resistor voltage divider here. It's exactly the same as before. Just remember that you need to have your resistor be the same 
uh, resistance value as your thermistor. If you don't know the resistance value of your thermistor, I have a paragraph in the blog post uh, that'll tell you how to find that out. We'll copy this code. And paste it in there. And upload it. So now you can see the temperature readings displayed on the LCD. An LCD would be good for a weather station or a home environment monitoring project. And they just look cool, so. All right, well, that's about it. Be sure to check out the blog post. I'll link to that in the description, and um, I'll go into a lot more detail. Plus, there's diagrams and other things there for you that explain it more in depth. And if you like it, please like it and share it. And don't forget to subscribe. We've got a lot more videos coming out. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.